Jesus. Well, I've been to the supermarket today. What a life I have, eh? <laughs> went to my favourite supermarket. I've been to two, actually. Went to my favourite one first, which is Aldi. Got an Aldi here? Hey. Sure? <laughs> Aldi's great. I don't, I don't like talking to cashiers, right? Don't like it. If you go to Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's, you'll get to that stage. They go, would you like any help with your packing, sir? Go to Aldi, they go, can you catch, mate? <laughs> Before you can answer, there's a watermelon flying towards your head. It's game on. It's game on. And I went to Aldi today, and all I got in Aldi for was to get a gammon joint, right? Those of you who know Aldi, it's at the back of the store with all the meat. What happened, happens every time I go in Aldi. Got distracted by all the shit in the middle. <laughs> Came out with a male fisherman's hoodie. <laughs> Haven't even got a rod. A rugby ball. And a haberdashery set. <laughs> Never done any haberdashery in my life. Never done it. But yeah, that's Aldi for you, innit? But and then, and then, just before I came here, I had this massive headache, right? So I, thought, I need to get some tablets. So I went to Tesco, right? And my wife normally does all this. Normally gets all the tablets and stuff. And I found out today that apparently I've got a miserable face. <laughs> Thanks, you bastards. Because <laughs> I tried to get some tablets in Tesco today. Impossible. When you have a face like this, I'm a risk, apparently. <laughs> See what you're on about? I've got a male fisherman's hoodie, a gammon joint and a rugby ball here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> she wouldn't sell me these tablets. Right? And I've got a bottle of water as well, so I need something to take them with. I was on the way up here. She was quite happy to sell me that. Right? So this is ridiculous. I said, you won't sell me these tablets because you think I'm going to do something but you will let me have this water. I could drown myself with that. <laughs> she said, don't be a prat, mate. I said, I oh, know, I'm not stupid. I said, all I've got to do is cover my nose and mouth and I'm out of here. <laughs> she said, I know that, but you'll never squeeze your head in there. <laughs> I mean, she's right. It's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, I should have just walked away from there. I should have just thought, fuck it, and gone. But for some reason, I fancy myself as a bit of a comedian. <laughs> That's not a punchline, you bastards. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to come up with something funny, say something really witty, and then I'm going to walk away. And the best I could come up with in the short time frame available to me, she'd said, you'll never squeeze your head in there. I said... <laughs> Depends which head. <laughs> God bless you for laughing at that, but it's shit, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not going to kill myself by sticking my cock in a bottle of water, am I? <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I'd underestimated her, though. She came straight back at me. She said, So you got a face like that? And a small cock? <laughs> said, I shouldn't do this, mate, but here, have the tablets. 